If you're interested in buying Fallout 76 caps, weapons or items, check out easympc.com and use my code DTDG for 5% off via the link in the description. Hey everyone and welcome to this week's Top 5 Camps. This is a weekly series where every Friday I show off the best camp builds in Fallout 76. Everyone is welcome so if you want a chance to be featured or you would like to just help out by voting on your favourite camps, make sure to join the Discord via the link in the description. Due to having so many submissions this week, I split the top 5 camps into two. Yesterday I showed off the top 5 law related ones, and today I'll be showing off the top 5 non-law related ones. If you did miss the first one, don't worry, I'll have the on-screen link at the end of this video. Now if this is your first time watching and you want to keep up to date with the best camps being built in Fallout 76, then make sure to subscribe. And if you enjoy these camps as much as I did, then make sure to click on that like button. Thanks for watching and let's jump straight in. Up at number 5 this week we have Scorpio Prime with his Nuke Watch Charlie. As you can see it is built on the monorail type of train line thing and he's got some magical bottles floating there along the train line. Kind of like some form of vending machine or kind of production line there and it looks awesome. I really like the bar set up there, the planetariums are really looking awesome, I really like the look of them. So many people are using them now and they look absolutely brilliant. This is his build though, it looks really cool, it overlooks the site Charlie right behind it there, right at the end of his actual video, I didn't show it in this one, but in his video it shows you the nuke coming out of there and it looks really nice. He's got a nice conduit rail and going around the edges of the camp and there is his little special trick with the TV as well, which looks fantastic. It's a really nice little setup here and I love the look of this kind of Stargate feature that he's got going on here at the entrance of the camp. Awesome job Scorpio, thank you for getting involved. Awesome job with your camp, it looks brilliant. Up at number four this week we have Kenneth with his USS Cannibal Rear, also called the Ironclad Warship. Now this is a really, really cool camp, built entirely pretty much on water by that corner just there and it looks fantastic. I love that kind of steering wheel setup for the ship. It's not called a steering wheel but I'm not a boat person and I don't know the name of it so I'm sorry. But inside he's got it really nicely set up, he's got lots of like little openings for where the cannons and stuff are which looks really cool, it's a nice touch and it's just really nicely laid out with plenty of seats overlooking the kind of, I don't, I don't know what you call it, like kind of like on board waiting to be attacked and stuff, I don't know, but it looks brilliant and I like the whole decorating inside. He's got the use of the secret door which you've just seen, plenty of cannons going on, he's got the little flashing siren lights as well which look brilliant and it all round just looks great. Very well placed everything and the actual video itself was really cool. He showed like the step by step guide that he did to actually build this camp in a kind of speed run type of thing and it was really nice. I love this top deck as well, I wasn't expecting it when I got to the end of the video but it looks really cool especially with the satellite on and stuff and the US flag as well. Very nice touch and then just to finish the video the fireworks as well. Over number 3 this week we have Dak the Wanderer with her River Modern House. Now this is one of the most perfectly polished and beautiful looking camps I've seen. Yes it is quite simple, it's quite small but it looks awesome. I love that lights at the front, as soon as I seen them I just thought wow that looks perfect. I love how none of them are the same, you did a really good job of kind of like mixing them up and making this unique pattern where none of the same colours touch each other. Inside it is decorated really nicely, I'm going to ignore the thing on the left hand side, pretend I didn't see it. <laughs> and then upstairs you've got a bedroom, in front of you you've got a bar, and look at the stairs on the right hand side made out of them seat things, whatever you call them. I always, I'm terrible with names guys, you should know this by now. But yeah, it looks brilliant. The conduit railing as well has been doubled up to make that extra kind of bit of detail in there and it looks brilliant. Nice bit of merging going on as well in the kitchen there, in the bar area, and it's just all round. It's such a clean looking build. I love the look of it. You've nailed the modern look with these very nice polished kind of walnut type of walls and the flooring as well. It just looks fantastic. And again with the planetariums. I'm telling you guys, everyone, everyone loves the planetariums. Up at number ooh, two this week, Jesus, I forgot where I was at there, is the wastelandcamping.com. This is a cool website which is 
And don't worry, this is not a sponsorship or anything before you go into it. No, it's not. It's just a website all for camp building. You can join the little community thing. They build nice camps and they've got some good builders with them. Like yesterday's had one that was kind of with them as well. And then today we've actually got one which is featured on their website as well. This is a really, really nice camp setup. I love that kind of float and walkway going on. There's so much going on in this camp, it's unbelievable. I didn't even show everything. If you want to check out the full one, check in the link in the description. But it is just such a nice, well decorated, well laid out camp. There's so much going on, lots of different levels to it. And I love it when camps are like that. When people put their time and effort into make a camp where there's multiple levels and it's not just a basic kind of, there's a staircase, there's another staircase on top of that staircase. If you've got different levels and different entrances to them and different like points all over the build, it's really kind of, it shows how much thought you put into the build and it just looks that extra bit better. All round, it looks brilliant. Got a nice bit of merging going on there, the little workshop. And it just, the video as well is well done. It's brilliant. It looks fantastic and I just love the whole place. It looks great. Don't know what else to say about it, it looks great, but it just does. It is a really, really nice build. I'm going to stop saying the same things because I know you've abused me for that, so I'm going to stop. Up at number one this week, we have Black Apocalypse with his escape room. Now this is a very nice build. I love how you took the time and effort to line up them trees. They look like perfectly in line there to make the entrance look that extra bit more detailed. The whole lighting and everything going on is brilliant. You've got the nice orange lighting going on. Inside you've got this absolutely awesome haunted feel to it. I like what you did there with the skulls being like sat in the seats. You've merged the seats and the ritual and um, what you call these together. And it looks really good. It's kind of like a skeleton sat in the seat type of thing to give that horror vibe. All of the rooms you absolutely nailed as well. They genuinely do have a proper horror vibe going on with them. It's very much getting closer now to Halloween and this is looking great. No doubt Black Apocalypse has another video on the way showing people trying to get through the escape room and no doubt it's going to be a good video. So stay tuned for that over on his channel. I bet you it's going to be a good one. Just like the other week where we had his raid one which was awesome. I'm sure the escape room one's going to be just as good. Now as you can see the lighting again is spot on there and you've got a nice ghoul replacing the head of the lady in the photo just to add that extra bit of scariness and monsters type of thing going on. All round, absolutely awesome build, Black Apocalypse. You absolutely nailed it again. So much thought, so much detail. I don't know how long it took you to make this build, but it looks really, really cool. I love the little storyline you added to it as well. It was just brilliant. I love that type of thing you do with your videos where you add that story in. It always works out nicely and it always gives this extra bit of, I don't know, a bit, a bit of character to the build. And it's just always great. Anyways, my mind is going dead now, so I'm going to cut off the video here. I have been editing for nearly 12 hours today, trying to do three videos in one day, so I'm sorry if uh, this part two kind of didn't work out well with the reviewing of it. I did my best I could, but I've been going on and on for a lot of hours now. So I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure to click on that like button. And if you want to check out any of the creators involved, all of their links are down in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.